What's going on everybody? Stanley Parrish here. Hope you're having a creative day today. In today's episode, I'm going to show you guys how to transform your body and move your body parts around in Photoshop using the Puppet Warp Tube. So let's go ahead and get straight into it. Okay, so we're inside of Photoshop right now. I got this picture that I took of my boy Cotton. He goes by They Call Me Cotton on YouTube. This picture right here, uh, this is what we use for his YouTube banner. And I'm gonna show you how I use the Puppet Warp tube to straighten his arms. Uh, he didn't want one, one of his arms to be higher than the other. So I'm just gonna show you a basic way, um, a quick way to fix that using the Puppet Warp tube. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is make a copy of your background layer. I'm gonna do that. Okay, so you have your copy and I'm gonna hide that. I'm gonna go back to my background layer and I'm gonna do a content aware uh, just to fill in that background. So I'm, I'm gonna grab my lasso tool and I'm just gonna make a selection around his body. And we're doing this because we want a solid background okay so you have your selection now you want to go to content aware feel we're going to go to edit go to feel content aware we're going to hit okay All right, so you can see here, Photoshop did an excellent job um, of filling in that selection that we made, okay? So now I'm gonna bring this layer back. And I'm gonna grab my quick selection tool, and we're just gonna make a selection um, of his body. I'm going to set my hardness at 15%. And I'm just going to make a selection here. Okay, so we have the selection. I think that's pretty good. Okay, so what I wanna do now is I wanna copy this to a new layer. And to do that, all you have to do is just hit Control J or on the Mac, I think it's uh, Command J. Okay, and I'm gonna hide these two layers. You can see, okay, there we, have, there we go. So we have him on his own layer, okay? And so, Let's say we can just rename this layer to body. Just say body. And we turn these layers back on. Well, actually we can just turn on the background layer. That's all we need. Okay, so before we get to the Puppet Warp 2, uh, I'm gonna drag out a few guidelines um, to help me line his arms up to where they need to be so they can be straight. Okay, so I'm gonna go up here. I'm gonna drag this down to right above his shoulders. And I'm gonna drag another one to the top of this hand because what I wanna do is I wanna bring his right arm up to match uh, his left arm. So I'm gonna drag a guide here uh, right above his left hand. And I'm gonna drag another one before, I mean, below his left arm. So right, right about here. Okay, so now it's time for the fun part. We're gonna to go to edit. Then we're gonna to go to Puppet Warp. And when you do that, you're gonna notice you're gonna get this spider web mesh um, thing that's going on right here. 
And what I like to do is I like to hide that. So I'm going to go to the top and I'm going to uncheck where it says show mesh. Okay. So the next thing you want to do is um, you want to lay down some points across his body. Okay. So and these points are going to act just like the joints that are in your body. Uh, these are like pivot points and and wherever you put these points, that area of the body won't move. So I'm going to place a point right here at his shoulder. Okay. I'm going to place another one right here on the edge of his fingertips over here. I'm also going to place another one on his other shoulder and his left hand over here. I'm going to put another point at the top of his hat. And I'm going to put another point right here at his waist in the middle on his stomach. And that should be all I need. Okay, so the next thing I want to do, I'm just going to drag this arm up um, so it'll match his left arm. So I'm going to take this point and just move it up. Just like that. Okay. So I think that's pretty good. Um, we may want to lift this point right here up on the shoulder. Just move that up a little bit. Okay, we just want to get it as close as possible to the his left arm. Okay, and I think that's pretty good. And that's it. Quick and painless. Okay, so this is it for the tutorial. I hope you were able to get something from this video. I don't know why I'm holding the camera at this angle. I just thought it would be something different to do. But hey, subscribe to the channel, drop a comment, Give this video a thumbs up. Share this video with all your friends and family. And I'll see you in the next one.